I'm curious to know how you could tell where this Holy Family Trail is, looking back 2,000 years. Yes, uh, in the Bible, uh, in the New Testament, the angel appears, or and the, there are a vision to Joseph to take the uh, baby and uh, his mother to go to Egypt. Both the Pope and the Bishop thought that I should start my journey in the same place that the Holy Family crossed into Egypt. Now the Holy Family came through here about 2,000 years ago. What did they see at this temple complex of Telbasta? Christian tradition says that Jesus and the Holy Family arrived here at Telbasta and the locals rejected them. And so Jesus, more or less out of anger, destroyed all the temples. This is one of the most revered relics in Christianity. Yet there I was, standing in the middle of the church, frightened out of my wits that I was going to drop this footprint. And then, the footprint of our Lord is about one half inch deep. The Lord's footprint is easy to see. The stone has grown darker here because of the sacred oil we have rubbed into this footprint for hundreds of years. It was only later that I began to think of this footprint as a living representation of oral tradition. I'll tell you because there was persecution. So if you are persecuted, what you have in your tradition is going to be handed down exactly as it is. This dust storm made me realize just how terrible and merciless the desert can be. There is nothing romantic about it.
But if the Holy Family came through the site, what would they have seen? What do you think they would have thought as they looked at this building? The Holy Family would have been amazed, and why not? Like people now, they had heard about the pyramids, so to actually see them would have been awe-inspiring. But at the same time, these were like stone idols to them, things people were supposed to worship instead of God, so their awe would probably have been tempered by disgust. You can go out in the desert and be alone with the Madun Pyramid. Just think about it, alone with one of the grandest structures ever built by man. One of the church's own archaeologists, the late Bishop Samuel, said that there may have been a Pharaonic temple on this site. Do you think it's possible that there's one on this site? We have heard him say that there is a site beneath the altar. But this wasn't the only possible site of the Pharaonic temple. Abuna, can you translate this extraordinary altar in Coptic? Can you read it for us? Yes. So we ducked into the entrance of this cave, and when my eyes adjusted, what greeted me was one of the most extraordinary things I've ever seen. What is that? There on a wall, painted by sixth century hermits, were the first paintings ever made of the Holy Family coming into Egypt. It is an extraordinary art treasure, and it's out there, left alone and in a cave in the middle of Egypt. He wanted to show me one more thing, and that was an ancient Coptic schoolhouse that had been carved out of a pharaonic tomb. And on the outside was this incredible cross that looked like it had been just imprinted right into the rock. It's there till this day, as is this old schoolhouse. The church building, I uh, like it is uh, a cross. So it was all shaped like a cross. You had the narthex here and then yes. two naves off on the side. And the end, reception. That's it, so that's the reception area down there. So did the Holy Family come through this area? Most yeah, certainly they did. So the Holy Family was here for what period of time? Six months and five days. Five How were you days. able to know that exactly? Is yes, that we made a deep research about this. 
and we managed to calculate this uh, time. And the altar below the stone is the stone that Jesus was believed to have slept yes, on as we a child. Believed, we believe that Jesus uh, consecrates the altar and this uh, stone uh, was here when Lord Jesus came with his family.